Pensacola Yacht Club last hosted the Snipe Nationals 15 years ago. The hospitality is just as good, it's just as hot in the boatyard, but there's a renewed interest in getting young people out to sail the Snipe. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do the regular Nationals because I have to get back for work on Monday. And I hadn't really sailed with my sister before, so just something new to try. I've been sailing on our high school team, so that's kind of been getting me ready. And we just sail together so much now, it's not difficult to get back. In it. Before today, I was pretty nervous, and he's like, don't worry about it, this is just fun, it doesn't count for anything. The Snipes have a special category for a junior skipper sailing with a senior crew. I think Augie and I started the uh, special juniors with, our, uh, with my grandkids, Lucas and Adrian. I wanted the special juniors to sail with the juniors. I thought it was good because uh, some of the special juniors with a, an adult and as, as a crew would be a good um, uh, competition for the juniors who, uh, after all, they have to go to the worlds and represent us in the worlds. And if they get a, a poor a competition in, uh, in a home, how, how are they going to do good in, you know, when they go abroad to, uh, to represent us? This will be our third junior seniors together. Um, he's 11 now. He sailed his first one when he was eight. Yeah, uh, it's sort of fun to tell him what to do, but also it gives me a chance to sort of prove that I'm really good other than my dad telling me, okay, pull in the Cunningham, pull in the jib, a click. The winners of the junior nationals are going to the junior worlds in August, and they look ready. It, was, it feels good to win the event. It's a nice place, nice venue, and good practice, really. Yeah, it was really good. Everyone would like the winning edge, but there are lots more reasons for racing snipes. Uh, basically, was looking for a boat that I didn't need to sail every day to be good at, and uh, that I could be a weekend warrior and hold down a full-time job and, and enjoy good competitive racing. And the snipe turned out to be that boat. With his son Christian as crew this time, competing with 46 boats for scarce space on the starting line is tough. It's tough out in these conditions. It's going to be interesting this week, as hot as it is, uh, for all of us to keep our concentration. In. So that's probably as much. We It was great. It was really hard racing, really competitive. Um, I can say it was plenty of shifts and definitely both speed was important. You have to be fast. Uh, there's, a, there's a top group in this class that is, puts in a lot of time and works really hard on their boat speed. And there's a level of boat speed in the top of the fleet that you have to have. It's really special to see the kids coming up and enjoying the boat, even though it's an old-fashioned design and uh, it's hard to see from the outside why kids would get into the snipe, but it, again, it goes back to friendships and, and long-term value and, and fleets and spark plugs. What happens when you round the weather mark sandwiched between Augie Diaz and Ernesto Rodriguez? I was really excited. I got very nervous, but it was pretty exciting. and. I mean, I've sailed with them before since we're all from Biscayne Bay, but it was pretty exciting seeing that it was it's the Nationals. And the boats with that extra click of speed put on quite a show. It's always uh, fun seeing those guys sail together, you know, getting into those hacking duels, and it's always fun watching them just running them. Whether it's upwind or downwind, Augie's not just looking around to find the competition. He's keeping track of how his family's doing, too. I'm always on the race course looking out for the old man and seeing where he is and how he's doing. And if he's not having a good race, no matter how good my race is, I cannot be happy. He was a good captain from the first day. You know, it was, since he was 14, we won the midwinters. I crew for him and he won the midwinters. He was 14 years old and he was the captain. No problem. <laughs> In the end, Ernesto Rodriguez and Megan Place just took second, beating George Zabel and Carol Cronin on a tiebreaker. Augie Diaz and Kathleen talked to first. Their worst finish was the third. 